Hi everyone, welcome back to my next video. We've been talking about batteries, which batteries to buy, how to buy them, so on and so forth. Uh, but now, one of the next questions you're going to have is, okay, so I've got these nice new batteries. How do I get power out of them and make that usable in my life? Uh, and it all is pretty simple, basic stuff. And I want to make this video oriented towards super simple. So that you don't have to do any wiring, you don't have to do anything except do a little take a nut off, put a nut on, and call that good. So let me show you a few things you can do uh, right away to make it really, really easy. This is a product that I found off Amazon. I'll put the link down in the description. The first thing you're going to need is cigarette lighter plugs because a lot of the items we buy are going to be 12 volt and they're going to plug into a cigarette lighter plug just like that. Well, this makes it as easy as clamping it on. Black is negative, red is positive, and now you've got a cigarette lighter vote that's active. That's all you had to do. So uh, this is something I recommend. This is probably 10 bucks on Amazon. I'll show you how to, uh, I'll, uh, the, descript the, the link will be in the description. Another option you have, and I think it's a little better. Now that one will work, but if you bump against them, you got a raw wire floating around. Another option is this same company. This is a, uh, what's this called? They don't have a name for this. Oh, it's a hardwired, it's a hardwired cigarette lighter plug. So here's your cigarette lighter plug. Again, you know, a lot of 12 volt items, fans, you can buy fans, just lights, a, a myriad things that will work off of a cigarette lighter plug. Really, really handy devices. I got a bunch of them. But on the other end of this one, instead of having clamps, see, it's a ring. Well, what do you do with a ring? Well, it's actually really simple. You, uh, this has a nut on it. All batteries, well, deep cycle batteries, will have um, a nut, and this is the negative, and it goes on there, and you screw the nut back on. I mean, it really is just as simple, and if you have a, own a pair of pliers, you could get this finger tight, and then uh, just turn it a few times with the pliers. So it's really good and tight. You do that also with a positive, and then you've got an active cigarette lighter plug. Not only that, but it's fused. Let me get that off of there for you. So this is just really simple. I mean, uh, you need a way to get power out. Here you got this battery bank, but now you can't use it. So this is fused with just a standard blade fuse. And I'll never get that thing out of there. I'll probably have to have needle nose pliers to get it out of there. But I think, I hope you can see, that's just a standard uh, blade fuse that's in there. Wish I could get that out, but I don't have any fingernails. And so you just have to take my word for it. With a needle nose pliers, I'd I'd pull that right out of there. But it doesn't. It takes a 15 amp fuse. You probably can't read that. It says 15 amp fuse, and then it's covered. Just attach these, and you got a cigarette lighter plug. And all your 12 volt cigarette lighter plugs are now usable. Very very simple. Well, let's take it one step further. So what if you have 110 volt items? Say now, for example, your laptop. A lot of you have now. I uh, didn't. I should have brought one. They make, of course, USB that plug into these that have two USB ports on them, power ports. That's how you can plug charge all your devices. You, most of your devices, your your pads, your phone. Uh, more and more things are coming with USB charging. So you just. Uh, Put one of those things in here, cigarette lighter plug. You can buy them at a gas station. You can buy them everywhere. You no problem finding one. I should have brought one over to show you, but I didn't think of it. Um, you plug that in there, and then you can charge all your USB devices or all of your 12-volt um, uh, devices. Really handy. It's a really cigarette lighter plugs are not the greatest quality, but they work great, and I highly recommend them. I have them all over my my van, uh, and you will have seen that. But say you don't, you have items that doesn't run on 12 volt, and it doesn't run on uh, USB 5 volt. It runs on 110 volt. Well, 110 volt is the thing you plug into your wall. In your wall, in your home, your apartment, you have a plug-in. But what are you going to do with those things? Well, all of them that you can, you should convert to 12 volt. So, for example, many laptops, especially IBM PC laptops, uh, you can buy a 12 volt adapter, and you just 
plug it into the uh, uh, the, the cigarette lighter plug and, and you're good to go. But let's say your laptop doesn't have one. It has to be run off of 110. Well, you need something called an inverter. You can see this is a simple, cheap inverter. Just about the cheapest one I could find. I, probably 15 or 20 dollars. And it's 175 watt, which would run, run all laptops. Uh, this just plugs into the cigarette lighter. It, that goes right in there to the cigarette lighter. See if you can see that in that light. And, and then you've got 110. And on the other end, it's got a, a simple three-prong adapter where you can plug in to, um, to 110 items. You can run, you could run quite a few items at 175 watts, and it just runs off a cigarette lighter adapter. Now, better to buy, uh, buy a little bigger. Now, this is cheap, 15, 20 bucks. I'll show you the link to this one on my, on the, in the description below. And I am an Amazon affiliate. You I will make a little money if you use those links, so I would appreciate that. But if not, just go and look, and you'll have seen what these items are. Uh, this is called hardwired. In other words, this is a hot wire that you unscrew and you put this on, and then this is hardwired to the battery because there's a wire and it's hard. It's, this is temporary. This is temporary, not hard at all. It, it can just fall off, whereas this, once you've put the nuts down on these, they're not coming off. So you can buy these to go to a an inverter that's larger, 200, 400 watts. I recommend a 400 watt inverter for most people. I like the Cobra band brand. I've had very good luck with the Cobra brand. I have one in my van right now. It's my main con uh, inverter. Uh, an inverter simply means it takes 12 volt power and inverts it to become uh, 110 volt power power. It's the opposite of a controller. Your RV, if you have an RV, your RV probably has a controller. Controller takes 110 and and controls it and makes it 12 volt. Uh, some of them also have built-in inverters as well. A lot of them do nowadays. So uh, this is what you need: either this cigarette lighter plug or a hardwired one that comes with rings. I I just didn't bring mine out. It's attached to the battery, and I didn't want it to not attach it. Uh, I would recommend a, a uh, th these are pretty small, but if you have simple needs, this will do the trick. I would probably suggest a 400 watt Cobra. That's what I use and what I recommend. A real good inverter. Um, now there's the difference between pure sign and modified sign. I'll just go into that really briefly. 99% of our your devices at home will probably run on modified sine wave. That's what this is. That means the power is 100% clean. It's just not quite as clean. Uh, back in the old days, these were so poorly made that you would get a hum if you plugged in a radio to one of these. You'd get a hum through the speakers. Uh, some devices can be damaged by if the pow power is dirty enough. Uh, a, a wave, electric wave, should be a nice curve like this. But a uh, modified sine wave is kind of sometimes called square because it's really harsh and uh, it's just not a clean power is the bottom line. So uh, you probably can be just fine with a good quality modified and that's all I'd recommend. I recommend the Cobra because it's a good clean power. It's cheap, it's like 30 bucks, it comes with the cabling to hardwire it uh, or use a cigarette lighter plug, either one. And so I, I recommend the Cobra, you'll find the link. I've been using them for a long time, I trust their reliability, their durability. So one more thing, you want to be able to watch your voltage of your battery. You want your voltage. We've talked about voltages before, and so I'm not going to go into it again. Uh, you want to know what the volt state of voltage of your battery is. And the simplest way to do that, if you if your charge controller doesn't have a voltage meter on it, which are the cheaper ones hardly ever do, is to buy this little product. You can see it's a cigarette lighter plug, and it goes into the cigarette lighter, so it just will plug right into there. And I doubt if you can see it through the packaging and not turned on, but it has uh, two light. It has three lights: green, yellow, red, and it will give you the voltage as a digital display. And so it will read 12.4, 12.8, whatever the voltage of the battery is. And the light will also say, uh, "Green is go, lots of power. Yellow, uh oh, you got some trouble. Red, stop using it." And anytime you see red or the battery goes down to 12.2 you've used too much power, you need to stop. So um, uh, that's like 15, 10, 15 bucks. I'll show you the link down in descript uh, the description to the video. 
So these simple devices uh, will be less than, you can get these for less than 60 bucks. I'm almost certain I paid less than 60 bucks. Uh, a cigarette lighter plug, either hardwired or clamp on, or both, get one of each, and uh, then you can run two different devices. Plug this a battery monitor, digital voltmeter into one of them. Just leave it on forever where you can see it. And you can look at a glance and look at the lights and look at the voltmeter and know what the status of your battery is. And then finally, if you have 110 volt items that you want to use, just buy a cheap inverter or the Cobra 400 watt inverter that I recommend. Uh, either one will do. This will only run about 150 watt items and then it'll start getting hot and it'll cut out. So there you have it. Simple, cheap ways to get power out of your new battery system and make it usable for you right away. There's much better ways or much better quality of all this stuff, much more elaborate, but this is all you need to get started. You're in business right now. If you go to Walmart, buy a cheap marine battery, one of these, wire it to your um, wire it to your your uh, alternator your starting battery so it's charged every time you drive your business that's all you need to know and all you need to do to have power in your home your new vehicle home as a nomad so there you go i uh, hope that helped uh cheap, simple and cheap i like simple and cheap it is cheap rv living after all um, and so i hope this helps you out and you learn something from these things and, uh, and follow the links and i'll make a little bit of money as an amazon affiliate so uh there you go I'll visit with you on our next video, and until then, like us on YouTube, subscribe to our channel, tell all your friends that there's another better way to live, and, uh, and I want to tell you how to do it. Okay, we'll talk to you later.